So sometimes your investments just don't go as you planned. They can drop in price and no one likes to lose money. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks on what to do if your investments are failing. But before we talk about that, I wanna let you guys know that I'm giving away two minimal wear op pink DD pads to two lucky subscribers once we hit 500 subscribers. To enter, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe and comment anything on any of my videos until we hit 500 subscribers. So good luck guys, let's get into the video. So firstly, the worst thing you can do is panic. Once you start panicking, you'll only assume the worst, and sometimes it's best to take a step back and think for an hour. Or even just open another game for a bit and play that for a while. Or as cliche as it sounds, just go outside. But just don't make rash decisions while you're panicking, as you may regret them. So after you've calmed down, or if you weren't in a panic at all, try and find out why your investments have dropped in price. It's not always obvious, and you may have missed something in a recent update, or a new leak has come out, or it could be a number of different things, but it's best to do some research trying to understand why they're dropping in price. So now that you're calm and you've found out why, it's decision time. Deciding what to do with a failing investment it can be hard to do, as it is a major question, so don't rush into it. Evaluate your loss and also your potential return if you do hold on to them for a longer period of time. Would your money be better invested into something else? Is there a new update coming out that you could use the money for? It's best to ask yourself too many questions than not enough. Are you gonna be better off leaving the investment behind and starting a new investment? The one question I always ask myself when this has happened to me is will I regret this if the price goes up in the future? And if you answer yes to that question, then keep them. No matter the case, I would write down my reasoning and why I decided to do what I did. The price was that when I did it, so after some time, it's worth looking back and seeing if you did make the right choice or not. Don't beat yourself up if you did sell them and they went up, or if you kept them and they went down. This means you can learn from this. Take a look at your reasoning as to why you made the decisions, and if there's anything that you could do differently next time if this does happen again. And also, don't delete anything you write down. You can always look back on it as the future, as it's something you have first-hand experience with. So this is the three or four step plan that I usually follow whenever my investments do start to drop in price. Let me know if you guys would do anything differently or what you guys do to handle these situations. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.